It's Saturday morning, September 19th. I'm Barbara, welcome. This is Corona Vlog on the Flame and Fiber channel. I hope you are all well. I'm in need of comfort. I put cream in my coffee. Didn't have a great night. I woke up about 4.30 and started arguing with my dad in my mind. <laughs> My father and I have diverged politically, <laughs> which is too bad. But 4.30 in the morning arguments in my head are not going to change his mind, so, or mine. <laughs> so I didn't sleep great and my knee hurts. So Dennis uh, got me coffee this morning, so it is quite late. So I'm sorry this is late, but I'm taking it easy today. I'm feeling okay mentally. It's not like I need a mental health day, but I just need a quiet day. Sitting, low energy, cream in my coffee. Uh, it is so gorgeous here today. I asked Dennis what the temperature was. He said 54. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but it ain't much. So that's like 22 divided by 2 something. It's like 11 degrees, I'm guessing, Celsius. That's a guess. I don't know. Um... But it means that this is serious sweater, sweater weather. So I'm wearing a winter sweater. And I'm trying to remember the name of the sweater. I can't because in my mind it's the not quite enough sweater. And it's not. That's not. But it's, you know, just enough or I don't know. I have a project page for it. I'll try to look it up and put it in the down bar in case you want it. And I'm wearing my find your fade around my neck in case it's not enough. But this is the one where I did the yummy chili knits yarn and faded it into a knit picks, not knit picks, cloud born um, yarn, which is more sturdy. So it's a warm sweater. My advice I learned from this sweater is that the soft, Super wash, indie dyed yarns are, you know, they give a little bit more than this. This is a sturdier yarn on the bottom, so probably should put the indie dyed yarns on the bottom where they won't stretch quite so much. That's what I learned from this sweater, but I really love the sweater. It's long tunic, kind of tunic length, and um, and I went in my winter sweater drawer and picked a sweater. I'm not sure that I need the fade, my find your fade, which obviously I made a long time ago when fades were the thing. This is the big giant thing from Andrea Mowry, which I find These long skinny things don't do it for me at the end. It's not a f shape I like. I would never do another one. But, you know, I don't wear it out. But I keep it on my chair. I grabbed it for my chair because I, I thought I might be chilly the other day when I was out here. Hey, you. You're going to say good morning? This is my Muppet. Hello. Did you have a good night? Why is your sister barking in the house? Do you know? She went in the house and started barking. So, anyway. Good morning. Good morning. Oops. <sighs> now you're crooked. She could figure out. We took our plants inside last night because it was supposed to be chilly. So, anyway, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died yesterday, so that was sad. She was quite sick. She was quite sick, and she 
feels like she made maybe not the best gamble. Apparently she didn't like the judge that Obama would have nominated to replace her, so she decided to wait till Hillary was president. And so she didn't retire while Obama was president, which means she felt like she had to work till the last day of her life, which is a shame. She was, she's been very sick these last, this last year or so. So now it begins. One more thing to make. I mean, she was already an issue for the election because she was going to retire regardless of who was elected. She had to because she was so sick. But anyway, so that was sad news yesterday. She uh, was a Supreme Court justice in the United States. If you're not in the United States and don't know who she is, she was a liberal judge. Our Supreme Court justices are appointed for life, so once you're a justice, that's it. I don't even know how you would have to be impeached to get, you know, off until you resign or die. So it it's a big deal who gets to appoint Supreme Court justices because they're there for a life and they make a big difference for a long time. So, I don't know if that's what prompted my political rant conversation with my dad or not. But whatever. Oh, oh, I had my first fire last night. I posted a picture of it on Instagram. That's traditional for me. I, I for the last few years, I have posted a picture on Instagram of my first fire of the season. So I had my first fire of the season. It made the air conditioning go on. <laughs> I said, Dennis, I think the air conditioning is really? Oh, 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 so we fixed that. <laughs> but it was really nice. I'll probably have another one tonight. Dennis is going to teach me how to make them. We have a insert in our fireplace that's like a stove insert. And it it's, makes it a little trickier to actually start a fire. Dennis took practiced a long time before he got it down. It's been a few years since we've had smoke in the house and you know he's gotten it down pretty well. But it took a while. So he's going to teach me how to do it so I'm not so dependent on him being able to build a fire for me. Although he likes to build fires I think. But I would like to be able to build my own fire. So it's my plan to make the fire tonight and he will supervise. I'm trainable. I can learn how to make a fire. I am wearing some silver earrings with some purple and some green. I don't know what those stones are, but they're pretty. I'm running low on different earrings now. I'm going to have to go in my... I have an old jewelry box that got... It's got costume jewelry very that I haven't worn in decades that got to the bottom of a box and is jumbled and you know whatever but it's one of the things that ended up on my in my guest room when I cleaned out my craft room so I may be going through that so you may be seeing some really really old earrings or I'm going to start recycling back through my earrings so the earrings may stop being a thing. I mean, if I'm going to be doing this for three years, I just don't have a thousand pairs of earrings. As shocking as that might be. <laughs> so anyway, I might go dig out that and see what I've got in there. I know I have some New Year's Eve earrings that I bought specifically for New Year's Eve when I was single and a party girl, kind of. Not really, because I had two little kids. <laughs> but, you know, partied, I partied more than I do now. I know, I'm sure I have those still. I'm thinking 
Maybe I'll save them for New Year's Eve. Because <laughs> I'm... I think I'll still be here doing this on New Year's Eve. Tell you the truth, New Year's Eve can't come fast enough for me. I am so done with 2020. Like everybody else. I mean... But, one thing to keep in mind. 2020 is not the start of the new decade. 2021 is the start of the new decade because the decades run from z one to z ten. You know, that's how counting is. You know, we don't start at zero. This one's zero. This one's one. So, technically, we are still in the last, the first decade. We're in the first decade of the century. Still, keep that in mind. So 2021, when we get to New Year's Day 2021, we will be starting a new decade. And maybe if we keep that in our mind and we send great, wonderful, loving, positive vibes into the new decade, maybe that will help us. I don't know if that cheers you up, but now that I just thought of that, it cheers me up to know that this is not how our decade is beginning. This year is closing out the old decade. Closing out the old decade. Next New, Year, New, New Year's Day will be the beginning of the second decade of the century. And I think that, oh, third decade of the century, holy cow. <gasps> I'm behind the times. The third decade of the century. <sighs> and maybe we can leave some of this behind. I know COVID is, will still be around, but maybe we can move into the new decade with more optimism and fewer horrors. So 2020 will leave the old decade behind. I know this sounds really strange, but my, my just thinking about that or just realizing that makes me feel better. <laughs> I mean, the thought that this is how we're starting our new decade, oh my God, somehow it makes me feel better. Now that's ridiculous. I understand that's ridiculous, but it does. It does make me feel better. So getting all this behind us, Leave it for that decade, and 2021 starts the new decade. There you go. There's your optimistic thought for the day. <laughs> I don't think I've had one every day. <laughs> In fact, I'm quite sure I have not. <coughs> hey, Pearl, why are you so barky today? Come here. People haven't seen you. They've heard you because you're a barky dog. <coughs> hey, barky dog. Come here. Come here. Come over here and give me a cuddle. Yeah, there's my girl. There's my pearly girl. There's my pearly girl. Yeah, she's on the alert today. She's on the alert today. Okay, well, I don't really have much to talk. Oh, I got, I finished the body of Ella's Foxy and I started on the first sleep. So that's exciting. So I might actually have been correct. I might be able to finish this by the end of tomorrow could happen the sleeves are only six inches long either way it's going to be a close thing so that'll be nice and then i'll go back to my silverling with my fuzzy yarn and that'll be fun and i'll start janine's boxy janine's boxy is purple made out of um crafty toads rom dos colorway and that's also MCN. So these are lovely yarns, you know, like, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I did, I did some knitting on my boxy. I didn't have to think about stuff. While well, I did, I picked up the sleeves and stuff. And actually, yesterday was a little bit of a thinking day because I had the short rows and the garter and the three needle bind off at the shoulders and start picking up the sleeves. So I was thinking, it wasn't like a mindless knitting day. But now I'm knitting, I'm knitting on short needles. 
that's in the round for these sleeves. So I'm not loving it, but I'll just keep on. It's only six inches. And I'll probably do the second one. The sleeves are only 64 inches. It's like a sock. And both sleeves together are like one sock without the heels and toes. Right, puppy? There's my Maisie girl back. Yeah, there's my Maisie girl back. Okay, so anyway, so I've been crafting. I'll be crafting today. We did not end up, I did not end up going to the in-laws on Thursday. Um, because Dennis is like hurt and it turned out the nurses went on Thursday yesterday his sister Kim came over and stayed with Garland while Aura went to visit her cousin and got to be away from the house for a while so that was good I haven't talked to her today yet but we'll be seeing her this weekend Dennis made her some salad and we're gonna take her some of the brownies and um, that'll be good I don't think we're taking the lemon bars because I like them too much. I like the lemon bars. I'm not as big a fan of the brownies. I've never been a big brownie person, which is why I didn't have a brownie recipe. But they turned out good. Dennis likes them, so he'll have them, and especially since he put the ganache on them. He'll have them, and we'll send some to Aura, and she'll like them. She likes everything. She is. Talk about a not complainer. Talk about a food-worthy person. She's just as... She's knit worthy, and for Dennis, she's very food worthy because she appreciates everything. So that's nice. So we'll see them this weekend, one of these days. I'm not sure which day. Probably today because Dennis made her salad yesterday. And so we'll take her the salad and the brownies. Maybe we'll do that on the way to walking the dogs or the way home because we were talking about bringing the dogs so they could visit with the dogs. They love the dogs, although, you know, they gotta be sitting down when they arrive because otherwise they'll knock them over. Anyway, oh, it's a glorious, fresh, delicious day. Our sky is blue. I hope that means that the fires are getting a little bit under control. I hope that's true. But the wind has changed so that we are no longer having smoke in our upper atmosphere, apparently. There is not a cloud in the sky and not a contrail. But I'm smelling, I'm smelling wood burning fire, which is what reminded me about my having my fire last night. Somebody's got their wood stove going to warm up their house. That's fun. So... I will bid you farewell. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are safe. I hope your air quality is improving. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Stay safe and stay sane.